In this video, we're going to introduce you to User Role Editor. User Role Editor is a plugin for WordPress that allows you to fine tune user roles and capabilities. On my screen now, you can see I've got the plugin installed and activated. And from here, what we need to do is click on settings. Of course, if you would like to actually get here at any other time, you can go to the settings area in the left hand side and then down to User Role Editor. The first thing we need to do is make a few choices. They're all relatively straightforward. Uh, the first is, do we want to show the administrator role at user role editor? You can turn that on, of course, if you'd just like to have a look at what the administrator privileges actually entail rather than just thinking about everything. Uh, then you can choose if you would like to show the capabilities in human readable form, which I suggest turning on, especially if you're not particularly uh, familiar with the various capabilities that exist or reading them in the format they are originally provided in is a little bit uh, foreign to you. Uh, next, you can choose to show deprecated capabilities. I don't think that's really worthwhile turning on, uh, but of course, if you have a use case for that, you should certainly consider it. Uh, just go and hit save now. So with the plugin configured, we can now actually get to changing the user capabilities. So what we need to do is go to users on the left menu and then to user role editor. As you can see, the list of capabilities is really quite vast. Uh, we start off with the core capabilities here, as you can see, activating plugins, deleting post pages, plugins, etc. Editing uh, various content on your website as well as plugins and pages and so on. And then if you just go down you'll have custom capabilities and what you'll see here will be generated by any other plugins uh, that you may have installed at the moment. You can see uh, NextGen has some capabilities there uh, but of course what you see will vary depending on uh, what you have installed. So from here what you need to do is consider what changes you'd like to make. Uh, at the moment we're editing the subscriber and as you can see there's quite a number of roles here you can choose from, including some uh, that you can see BBP is BuddyPress, uh, which is a plugin uh, that pr provides some forum capabilities to your website. So using this plugin can be particularly useful if, say, you run a website and there are multiple users on it. So maybe you have some editors and you're the administrator, but you would like them to be able to go in and make some changes. You can easily do that. So. Maybe you'd like them to be able to edit themes or edit users that might be particularly useful, especially if they're going to be working with many writers on your website. So having an editor be able to edit users may be particularly useful. Uh, and then once you've done that, all you need to do is hit update. It'll ask you to confirm that you want to do that. So we'll just hit yes, we'll do that. And that's done. So that's the basic use of this plugin. It does give you an access to quite a lot in terms of the capabilities you can apply and naturally also remove from certain user roles. If you do use this plugin, I strongly suggest that you are very mindful of giving certain users and certain user roles extra access. It may result in unintended or unintentional consequences if someone is accidentally given access to something and then they go in and make a great deal of changes. So just with that in mind, you know, make sure you use it sensibly. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the function of the plugin though, please feel free to ask in the comments below.